Hello and welcome to the next episode of the Explain series with the host, Dr. Brett Palmer. In the Explain series, we take a sexual health topic uh, every week and explain it. And this week, it's the turn of scabies. Now, a scabies is like a, uh, an insect, kind of like a, a parasite, if you like. You can't get infected with scabies. You have an infestation of uh, scabies. And it's important not to get um, scabies and pubic lice um, uh, mixed up. In pubic lice, you can see uh, sometimes the actual louse themselves or even their eggs, but in scabies you can't. Um, it's worth keeping this in mind. So when you go for um, uh, a checkup at your sexual health clinic, if you're worried about scabies, um, they may take uh, a little sample uh, and have a look under the microscope, but they may not see anything at all, uh, but they may advise you to go and get treatment for scabies anyway. And I'll come on uh, more about that um, later. So scabies is a little mite effectively and it can burrow under the skin uh, and that's what causes the intense uh, itching uh, and the itching itself can be worse after a, a hot shower or when you're um, uh, in bed uh, wrapped in a duvet you're nice and uh, warm. Uh, it seems like heat seems to aggravate um, the itching uh, quite a lot. Um, and also there may be um, a six weeks lag between when you've actually picked up scabies uh, to when you actually start uh, itching itself. And it can be, the itching, so classically it's between the web spacing of the fingers uh, just here, which can be really, really itchy. Um, but it could be on the abdomen as well, it could be under the armpits, in the groin, um, uh, it could be under the breasts as well uh, for females, and so uh, even in uh, by the, uh, the backside as well. So it could be, um, scabies can be in, uh, in different places, it doesn't necessarily have to be uh, on the hands. And so the scabies bites uh, might and uh, drink your uh, blood, as it were. It's all a bit unpleasant. Um, uh, and scabies can look like a bit of an eczema rash as well. So it can be sometimes difficult to diagnose. And that's why um, a doctor may just turn around and say, mm, I can't rule out scabies. And so we'll treat you anyway. So what's the treatment? Well, the treatment is uh, effectively an insecticide. There are a few makes, but as a general rule, uh, the insecticide should stay on your body um, for 12 hours. And usually it's put on on the early evening. You go to sleep um, uh, with it on, and after 12 hours, you then just wash it off. You don't have to uh, repeat the treatment uh, like you do <coughs> for pubic lice. Um, and uh, but obviously it stays on a lot longer. If you're pregnant, that's the important thing. If you're pregnant, uh, you will may need a slightly different treatment from if you're not non-pregnant, just so it doesn't harm uh, the fetus or if you're breastfeeding as well. Um, other than that, uh, obviously scabies won't go away on its own accord. Um, it, it it is. Uh, a sexually transmitted infection, but it can also be uh, transmitted through um, uh, unwashed uh, bed linen. And so if you go to a BMB, which isn't the most uh, cleanest of places, for example, uh, and then if the person before you had scabies, a scabies mite could fall off and then uh, will attach itself to you um, uh, rather, rather, rather quickly. They can live off the body for 72 hours. Um, they can, you can get very bad cases of scabies um, if you are immune suppressed um, or if you're uh, very old uh, and scabies can also be found in quite a few institutions, um, whether it be uh, nursing homes, prisons, uh, care homes, uh, etc. Um, so if you're worried, get checked out. Um, scabies is a very easy thing to get rid of and if you are going to a sexual health unit clinic to get checked out for scabies then why not have a sexual health screen at the same time you can get further info from the planning association uh, organization here in the uk as well as nhs choices if you're over in uh, over upon over the pond in america you can get it from the ccdc there's lots of organizations uh, which you can get information from on scabies but take it from a reliable source another good source is the british association of sexual health and hiv uh, that's also another one uh, if you like this video, uh, please like it, uh, share it, and also subscribe so you get the new video out uh, next week. And uh, thank you very much for watching and have good sexual health. Thank you. Take care.